Hi, wow, that was really close up when I do a video. Hi, team. Um, hold on, I gotta, my phone's on the charger, so it's gonna be all shaky and weird. Hold on. I don't know. Whatever. Um, hi, guys. I'm sitting in my sister's house. Um, she took my niece to school today. I'm getting messages. She took my sister, or my niece to school today so that I could have the whole house to myself to work, because I've hardly worked at all since I've been here, and I'm so like irritated with that because I want to work like all I want to do right now is work 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 until I make $20,000 um so I've spent all day messaging people and um posting and I'm being super 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 intentional so I'm not just messaging everybody the same thing a thousand times I'm going um, on their Facebook pages and I'm interacting on their posts and I'm commenting and I'm writing a post on everybody's page. You guys are all messaging me right now. Um, I'm writing a post on all of their pages and just saying like, hey, love, I hope you have a great Monday, have a kick-ass day, you know, whatever, whatever. I've gotten one PDT out of it um, because she told me that her Monday is almost over and she's getting off work and I was like, that's awesome, dude. I'm working on my couch with music blasting. And she said something like, oh, God, you're so lucky. And I was like, dude, this could be you, too. Like, you just say the word, and I'll put you on my team. Like, you can have this life, too. It's not hard, guys. You just you need to make friends, and you need to show them that this is an amazing life, and they can have an amazing life, too. Okay? So um, that's what I'm doing right now. But I wanted to talk to you about planning our week. Okay? So... Um, I did this while I was at conference because I didn't have any freaking service. Inside the convention center, they make you pay like $13 a day for Wi-Fi. Pfft, they're crazy. I paid $200 for that ticket. I'm not paying for Wi-Fi too. Um, so I had like no service the entire time and I didn't want to not work. Um, so I found other ways to get work done. So one of the things that I did, a lot of what I did was to um, put some materials together to help you guys. Um, really be successful. I really, really, really want this year to be different for us. I want to be a better leader than I was last year. I know that I kind of slacked on helping you guys and that's probably why a lot of my downline quit and I'm so grateful for those of you that are pushing through and those of you that, you know, didn't let that stop you. So, um, this particular video is going to be about being super intentional with your business. So, if you guys want to take a second and get a piece of paper, pause this and get a paper and pen. Um, I want you guys to take notes. I want you guys to implement this into your, you know, your business and your downline. Um, you guys are leaders under me. Um, some of you are leaders under each other, but for the most part, you guys are leaders under me. I am no longer going to be taking care of your downlines. They're your downlines. If I place somebody under you, I'm gonna message both of you in the same message. I'm gonna get you guys connected. I'm gonna get you guys talking to each other so that you can help them, okay? Because I plan on having hundreds of people under me. And if I have to talk to those hundreds of people and then all the people that I placed under them, I'm gonna lose my effing mind. So I am training you guys to be good leaders and you guys are going to be training your leaders to be good leaders and down and down and down it goes just like you know jade is teaching us so um this is what i think is going to help our um, my business and it's going to help me be a better leader for you guys and i hope that you know you guys feel the same way so mondays <clears throat> i have this broken down by day okay so we're going to start with mondays mondays are going to be my team mondays I am messaging every single one of you. I'm going on your pages. And I started with Facebook and then I'll jump over to Instagram. But I'm going on your pages and I'm seeing if you're actually posting your 3-3 rule. Most of you aren't. Shame on you. Um, shame on me for the days I don't do it. Don't feel like I'm perfect because I'm not. But um, I'm Mondays are dedicated to my team. So I'm going to every single Monday, I'm going to be checking your pages and I'm going to be seeing where you guys are at. And I'm going to be asking you how you're messaging people. And I'm going to be making training videos for you guys. Um, and I'm going to be doing everything that I can to help you. Mondays are strictly for my team. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean that I'm not posting my 3-3 rule. And that doesn't mean that I'm not messaging my business because this is still my business and I still need to run my business but I'm going to be there for you guys. So 
Mondays are the days that you guys are going to want to call me or Periscope me or, you know, Google the Hangouts, video me, whatever. I don't care how you want to contact me, but if you guys need help, Mondays are the days to do it. Mondays are the days that I'm going to dedicate 100% um, to you guys. That's going to be my, my team Mondays. Okay. So, um, I'm going to try and do at least once a month. That's not true. I'm going to try and do it once a week. I'm going to try every Monday to do a zoom and get us, all of us connected and all of us talking together so that this isn't just me talking to my phone and then posting it for you guys, but we're actually, you know, interacting with each other. Um, this week is going to be kind of hard because I'm still in Florida and I have to go home and something tells me my house is going to be in shambles when I get there. So I'm going to spend the rest of the week cleaning, but, um, that's going to be the goal. So I want you guys on Mondays. I want you guys to contact your downline. I want you guys to see, go look at their pages, go see if they're posting, go ask them how many messages they're sending now, how many potentials they have, what they're doing to make their business better. Because you know what, if they don't have you fighting for them, chances are they're not going to fight for themselves. Okay, especially at the beginning because they're new and they're scared. You guys all remember being new and not knowing what the hell you were doing. And if you didn't have somebody who was adding you to the team pages and who is putting a team chat together so that we can all stay connected, if you guys didn't have that, there's a very good chance that you guys would have just given up and been like, what the hell, I joined this thing, I spent $99, now what? So don't do that. Don't do that to your downline. You guys aren't going to promote that way and we want to promote this month. So be there for your team. Every single Monday, make sure that you are there for one-on-one -on -one trainings, phone calls, make a video, message them, call them, whatever. Be there for your team. That's what Mondays are dedicated for, okay? Um, Tuesdays. We're going to call it Tell It Tuesday, okay? So on Tuesdays, I want you guys to tell your story. Now, it doesn't mean um, just one post that's like, you know, oh, I used to be broke and now I'm a part of It Works and now I'm going to be rich. Yay. No. Get real with people. People want to know where you came from and why you decided to join this business and why you are so passionate and why you think this business is going to change your life. Tell them. So on Tuesdays, all of my life posts are going to be telling my story. The first life post is going to be talking about um, my past and how, you know, growing up in high school and being a loner and being depressed and hating life. And now I have thousands of people that I can talk to every day who are like-minded people who are positive people. Um, one of my posts, you know, might talk about where I am right now and how we still kind of struggle, but things are so much easier than they used to be. Um, I might post, you know, about where I'm going and how, you know, I plan on doing this for my family and that for my family and being a part of It Works is going to make that possible for us. So Tuesdays are going to be Tell It Tuesdays. You want to tell... Oh, sorry. I got another message. Um, you are going to tell your story. So, um, <clears throat> tell it Tuesdays, make sure that you are being raw and you are being honest and you're being open with people. That's what they want. They want to get to know you. They are not buying the company. They are not buying the product. They are buying you. They are listening to you and trusting what you say. So give them a story Give them something to read, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let people into our lives every Tuesday. We're going to tell them about us, okay? Um, Wednesdays, we're going to do Wrap It Wednesdays. One of the things that we went over in conference was doing wrap parties. And I haven't done any wrap parties because I've been scared. So I've, people have asked me to, and at the last minute, I've been like, oh my God, I can't do it, blah, 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 blah. I probably lost myself tons of potentials doing that. So I'm not saying no anymore. We're saying yes. We're yes women and we're saying yes to everything, including success. So we are going to do wrap it Wednesdays. So the first Wednesday of the month, I'm going to do an in-house wrap party. All of you who live in Vegas are more than welcome. And I encourage you to come to our wrap party on Wednesday. I'm going to do it every single Wednesday. The first, well, every single first Wednesday of the month, I should say. Um, Come to the wrap party, bring your potentials, bring your wraps so that you can sell them and make some wrap cash at this wrap party. 
okay? If none of your potentials show up the first week, don't just give up and assume that it's not going to work, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. This isn't going to happen overnight. You guys have to be consistent and you have to be positive and you have to believe that this is going to happen. That's the only way it's going to happen. So if people don't show up to our wrap party the first week, what are we going to do? We're going to throw it again the next month and we're probably going to have a couple more people. But when people know that on the first week of every month there's a wrap party, they're going to be able to schedule their lives and they're going to be able to schedule their time to make sure they're at it. Okay, so week one is going to be our in-house wrap party. Week two is going to be a Zoom team wrap party. And the way that we're going to do that on Zoom is we're going to get our potentials and we're going to um, tell them to download the app and we're going to do a wrap party. Now, we obviously aren't going to be able to wrap them because we're all going to be in our own homes and doing our own thing, but we can wrap ourselves and show them how it works and show them our before and after pictures from wrapping and how easy it is with the new Wrap It Up app. Um... We're going to be able to talk about our products and talk about this company. And it's cool because they get to be in their homes, but they get to see us talking. It's not just an online wrap party. They actually get to like see our faces and see us interacting. So I really, really want you guys to be a part of that too. So we're going to start that. Um, That's going to be actually, is that this Wednesday? This Wednesday would be the second week. Yeah. This month might be kind of screwy, guys, as much as I don't want it to be. I'm going to try and do it Wednesday, but we'll see. Because I get back Tuesday like super, super late. Um, week three is going to be, yeah, week three is going to be another in-house wrap party. See, I haven't even looked at these really. So I wrote them all down and I haven't looked at them since. So we're going to do two in-house wrap parties a month. Now, you guys can decide to do your own wrap parties at your house one of those Wednesdays if you want. Um, or you can be a part of mine. I'm going to do one every other week, every other Wednesday, in hopes that I can start making some wrap cash and we can start signing people up and we can get this going, okay? So week three is going to be another in-house wrap party. Like I said, you can bring your potentials to my house and we can have, you know, a huge wrap party or you can choose to throw your own. It makes absolutely no difference to me. I want you guys to be successful, whatever you are more comfortable with. Um, it's totally up to you. The fourth Wednesday of every month, we're going to do a Facebook wrap party. So that's going to be one that I will host. I will invite you guys to. You guys will invite your potentials only. Do not invite every single person on your Facebook page to an online wrap party. You'll get it shut down. Okay, I did that my first time and I got one of Jade's shut down. She was pissed. So don't do that. Um, Facebook pays attention to those things. And if you're messaging, just or if you're inviting just everybody, they're going to shut it down because they think it's a spam party, okay? So that is going to be our Wednesdays, or Wrap It Wednesdays. So the first week of the month and the third week of the month are going to be in-house wrap parties. The second week of the month is going to be a Zoom wrap party. And the fourth week of the month is going to be a Facebook wrap party, okay? So put that on your schedule, put it in your planners um, so you guys can be available for all of them or most of them, you know, do your best. Thursdays. It's so weird having to hold my phone like this. Um, okay, so we're going to do thoughtful Thursdays, okay? So we're going to talk to potentials. We're going to check in on their lives. We are not going to mention it works at all, okay? No, are you ready to order? No, you know, hey, have you thought any more about joining my business? None of that, okay? We're going to message them and be like, hey, girl, what's up? You know, how are you doing? Just checking in, see how life is going for you. Um, you know, I, I noticed you post whatever, whatever on your Facebook page. That's so awesome or that really sucks or your kids are so cute, whatever, be personal, be thoughtful of them and their feelings, okay? Because we're not just salespeople, we're shares people, and we want to make friendships and we want to build relationships with our potentials, okay? So Thursdays are going to be reserved for thoughtful Thursdays. That's how we are going to handle all of our messaging on Thursdays. Fridays, we all know what Friday is. Friday is follow-up Friday. So you are going to follow up with everyone. So before I did conference, I only followed up on Fridays with people who were going to, um, hello, boop, with people who were going to order. 
Um, and that's just super selfish. And I can't imagine why nobody ever ordered because I only messaged them on the days they were going to order. So every single Friday, you want to message every single one of your potentials. And I've done a video recently about how I've been keeping track of my potentials. Um, and I'll do another one if you guys want. Just message me and let me know if you want me to um, do a video that kind of helps show you guys how I'm keeping track of it all. But on Fridays, we are going to message all of our potentials. Now, if you're, you have a potential, look through the messages before you message them, okay? Don't send the same message to everybody. Be personal. So look through the messages. If they said, I'm going to order from you on the 27th and it's the 17th, don't message them and be like, hey, you ready to order? Message them and be like, hey, girl, what's up? How's it going? How's life? I can't wait to start you on your challenge next month or next week. Or I can't wait to have you on our team in a couple of weeks or whatever, you know, but follow up with them. Let them know that you're still around. Let them know that you're still thinking about them, especially those of you who have taken a break and who haven't worked your business for the last few months. You guys are going to need to work a little bit harder because you guys lost all those people who were watching you and watching your show and then all of a sudden they didn't see it anymore now you're gonna have to start again okay so make sure you're messaging people and you're letting them know that you're around and you're letting them know that you're still a part of this business and you're excited and you're ready to help them make it about them it's not about getting you a bonus it's not about getting you commission qualified or you 120 dollars in free product it's about getting them healthier getting them on the path to financial freedom okay I'm doing this because I want to help you guys succeed and the rest will come okay my success will come by helping you guys succeed so I'm not going to worry about me I'm going to worry about helping you guys succeed and you guys are going to worry about helping your team and your customers succeed okay so follow up Friday make sure you um <clears throat> Make sure you message everyone. Strike up a conversation. It doesn't have to be, will you, you know, are you ready to order? Are you ready to join? But strike up a conversation. Let them know that you're still thinking about them, that they haven't been forgotten about, okay? Saturdays. We're going to do shout out Saturdays. So you on Saturdays are going to shout out your team on your personal page, okay? Not on our team page, on your personal page. Show the people who are watching you and the people that are sitting there and going, hmm, who never like anything. Because I promise you guys, I have over 2,000 people on my Facebook page. There is no way that only 20 of them see my posts. But only about 20 of them like anything. Okay, so 90% of the people who see your stuff aren't going to like it and aren't going to comment on it. But that doesn't mean they're not watching you. So... Show them that you, what kind of a leader you are, okay? Show them that you can, that you are excited for your team. So if you have, you know, um, even a loyal customer that signed up under you, if you don't have any distributors and you don't have a team yet, but you have one loyal customer who, um, you know, who just ordered her kit like a week ago. She ordered a box of wraps. Shout it out. You're like, oh my God, I'm so excited for so-and-so. She just took the rap challenge. You know, a week ago, she decided to go. Girl, I am so, so, so excited for you to get tight and toned and firm. And I cannot wait to see your results. Be excited. Show the people who are sitting there doubting you. Show the people who are sitting there silently cheering you on that you are excited for every customer and every I'm going to end up like dropping my phone. Every customer and every um, distributor that you sign that you're excited for them. Okay. So show people that. So we're going to do shout it out Saturdays. Um, and it also, it also shows people, whoa, hi face. We, um, it shows people what kind of team we have because other companies don't do this. Okay. No other company has the team you know, closeness that we have and, you know, tells people, you know, shout out your customers, shout out your distributors, let everybody know how awesome they're doing. Other companies don't have that. And we want to show people that it works is different because it is guys, it is so different. And if you were at a conference, you would understand why I say that, but we are so, so, so different from any other company out there. 
We are a one of a kind company and you guys need to be the ones to show the people on your Facebook page and your Instagram page that. Okay, so we're going to do shout out Saturdays. Sundays are going to be self-reflection Sundays. I'm not a religious person. Some of you are. Some of you aren't. It's great either way. Sundays are going to be used for self-reflection. If you're religious, chances are you go to church on Sundays. You probably, you know, read Bible verses and do stuff like that. That's awesome. If that's what motivates you and gets you, you know, to where you want to be, go for it. This is a Christian-based company. There was a whole lot of talking to Jesus and God and all that stuff at conference. Um, so, you know, use that. Okay, because there's nothing wrong with using, you know, use what you got. If you are a religious person, use Sundays as your day to um, to self-reflect, whether it's going to church and reading Bible verses or for myself, I'm going to be watching training videos. I'm going to be, you know, looking up things on how to expand my business. I'm going to be looking back at my week and seeing what I've done and what I didn't do and what I need to do different the following week. Use Sundays to be um, completely honest with yourself, okay? So really, really, really look at what you're doing and be completely honest and say, did I work my business the way, if you're going for, you know, diamond, did I work my business the way a diamond works her business all week? If the answer is no, figure it out and change it. Okay, if you're going for emerald, if you're going for ruby, are you working your business the way an emerald or a ruby works their business? Because if you're not, fix it. Use Sundays every single Sunday and reflect on your week and figure out how you're going to make the next week better. Okay? And I want to each and every single one of you to watch at least one training video every Sunday. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Jade. I don't care if it's Thomas Hughes. I don't care if it's... Um, I don't, I don't care who it is, Brooke, Morgan, anybody from our upline, if you just go into YouTube and type in it works, you'll find billions of them guys. Pick one, whether it's charting, charting is a good one because that's how you're going to promote. So you guys want to understand charting. So I would say that should be the first video you guys watch, but every single Sunday, pick a video and watch it. And that's what we're going to do. It's going to be self-reflection. So... Okay, so Mondays are going to be my team Mondays. You're going to be there for your team. No matter what, be there for your team. Tuesdays are going to be tell it Tuesdays. Tell your story. Let people into your lives. Wrap it up Wednesdays. Pretty simple. We're going to do some sort of wrap party every single Wednesday, okay? I want you guys to be a part of all of this. I want you guys to do this with me every week. If you're not doing it with me, you can't get mad if you're not making any money, and you can't get mad when you don't promote. Okay, this is not going to just happen overnight. You need to work your butt off. And I'm going to work my butt off with you, but I can't work it off for you. Okay, so wrap it up Wednesdays, thoughtful Thursdays, be thoughtful, message people, ask them about their lives, ask them how they're doing, be thoughtful, make it about them always. Follow up Friday, super basic and simple, follow up with everybody you've ever talked to about it works, all your potentials, see how they're doing, see where they're at. Shout out Saturdays, let your team and your customers and everyone watching you know that you care and you're genuine and you want them to know how awesome they are. This is a big step for people. Joining this team is scary for a lot of people. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing when they join at works. Becoming a customer is scary for a lot of people. Do you realize how many people buy products that don't work? Okay, do you know how much money I've spent on shit that doesn't work? Okay, so they're scared. They just spent a ton of money on something that they are not sure is going to work. So shout it out. Be excited for them. Let them know that that we believe not only in their, um, in what they're trying to accomplish, but we believe in the products that we stand behind. We believe in the business that we stand behind, okay? Um, and then self-reflection Sunday. Take Sundays to reflect on your week. Figure out how you can improve. We can all improve. Um, and watch at least one training video every single Sunday. So that is um, pretty much it for this video. That's how we're going to be intentional with our business. I want you guys to really implement this into your business. It's kind of a guideline and an outline for how to run your business every week. Um, if you have any questions, please, 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 please ask them. 
Okay, don't just sit there and be like, I still don't understand what the hell I'm supposed to do. Ask me, okay, I'm here to help you. I want you guys to be successful. I want each and every one of you to promote this month. And it's not gonna happen if you don't understand what you're doing. So message me, text me, call me, whatever. Ask your questions, be intentional with your business, guys, and go and fight. Fight for your dreams, fight for your goals. I believe in all of you. Bye.